Yes, so welcome back. Yesterday, did a lot of stuff with companions for the most part. And, um, <clears throat> today I think I said we were going to revisit the Morcons because I never really did everything with them because they're kind of annoying me. But then again, so... Hey, pal. You got a half ration for a poor E9? We already dealt with you. Again? You hit me up the other day. Yeah, I remember, of course, yeah. I'm just trying to get a stash together for, you know, if push comes to shove. So you got something for me now? Well, I'm barely using it. Here, take it. Oh, thank you so much. When I make it to a higher level, I won't forget that you helped me. Well, we'll see what comes of that. It does seem like this is one of those games that doesn't really reward you for being an asshole. Other than certain characters being like, oh, I, I like the way you talk, buddy, or whatever. Like, some companions are probably going to be dismissive towards you if you're always a nice guy. So, anyway, we're up. I'm up to level 33 now. And uh, as I suspected, merchants started carrying new inventory. So, I got a whole new suit of armor. Not really much. I don't really like the look of it that much. The hood doesn't really fit. But yeah, it's the, like, advanced, excellent rebel clothing. I still have no idea who the rebels are. It says defector, and that's what we're called. That's just our, like, guild lists. Who we are. But now... I'm using this, uh, laser rifle here, but I also... What I ended up doing yesterday, just off-screen... I... Like, one of very short ways in here. I think I went to, the, like, this little area here. This is where the Skyans are, like, making the headquarters. And, yeah, as you can expect, I decimate everything there because combo of grenade launchers and shotgun takes care of everything. All right, so that quest will probably never be completed. I don't see any sign that patches are going to fix it. I probably won't fix one with errors already uh, in place. But I also found, yeah, in that area, there was like a little church and a couple other buildings. And uh, found this grenade launcher that is like twice as powerful as my old one. Kind of insane. But I also spotted a couple NPCs out in the wild that I want to chat with. Basically, all I'm doing is when I'm bored or editing videos. I'm just going around the wilderness because a lot of enemies are respawning. So, I'm just getting the XP while it's out there. Since there's no need to um, keep that up on screen. Does nobody no good. What are you up to? Look like a more con to me. Hey, you there. What? Hold up. Who? Me? But just teleport me to the other side Shh, of him. Be quiet. Huh. Guess it was nothing. That's right, pal. Nobody here. You look clever. Got a spark in your eyes. Woo. That's a statement that's only ever gotten me into trouble. What? Ah, oh, come on. I just want to play a game. A game? Out here? Damn right. I've got an opportunity for you. An opportunity too good to wait. Oh, come on. Corny lines are just going to make me more suspicious. Don't be, my friend. Don't be. Just tell me what the hell you want. A very simple game. Also, your eyebrows are going through your hair. Double or nothing. All right, I see what's happening here. You're out for my Alexit. Hmm. You really think little old me could hoodwink a man like you? But you do look like someone who likes a bit of a risk. Am I right? Let me explain the game. You bet your Alexit, and I ask you a question. Answer correctly, and you'll get double. Answer wrong, I'd take it all. Okay. So, what you think? This seems stupid. Oh, before I forget, my associates here will be, uh, keeping us company. They get so curious sometimes, they just have to watch. I hope that won't be, uh, an issue. This is getting weird. Looks like quite the crowd. You said it. 
So, are you ready? Ah, so finally a like the morality meter has some um dialogue like options. So I'm not able to do that. A con man out in the middle of nowhere. And that bird That's behind us is just waiting his turn. Whoa there, watch your mouth, pal. Why not tell me about what you're planning to do next instead? I'm not that dumb. Hmm. Then my associates here will have to show you how persuasive they can be. I'm sure you'd rather avoid that, though. Don't care. Are you mad? Any of Are you mad? Exit. Oh, well, fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. I see I need to teach you some respect. What up, Caprice? How are you? How's that for respect, bitch? Thanks for the subscribe, by the way. Sorry, that happened in the middle of the dialogue, so it got weird. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> Upset. So why don't we take a look at how I'm doing now. So I've maxed out these combat abilities and ranged weapon abilities. The only thing I haven't done is heavy weapons, because honestly, the, uh, the only weapons I have that are apply are the slug thrower and the missile launcher, neither of which seem as effective as just a basic grenade launcher. Uh, the area of effect of the explosives is definitely wider, but they're slower and they have uh, less ammo. So in general, it doesn't really seem worth it. These guys aren't even worth the XP anymore. No, it's dead. I was getting ready to attack that one. Otis, stop throwing your balls at my feet. All right, so that was that. Who was the other one I spotted? Oh, there was something going on uh, here. Somebody was talking to Eva, and I didn't want to do that on screen. Also, while I was walking around the Bastion, and uh, a companion started talking to me about their quests again. So I stayed away from there, but... Uh, Kind of preempted bullies by accident, and I want to reload. So he's already got another scheme. Or orders from the Duke. Il Duce. Is that a cleric robot? I didn't know they had robots going around. We could also see what the hell this dude wants from us. He's just chilling. He said to meet him later. And then I met him later and he didn't have... He said it wasn't late enough. You said you had a use for me? That's correct, soldier. Although your inability to track time makes me wonder whether you're really the right man for this job. Listen up. I'm going to lay it all out. You didn't really I give me a time. You seems you've already had military training. They also say you're a specialist in foreign terrain. Personally, I'd have put you on latrine duty, but there's more to you than I thought. I'm offering you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to put your skills to real use. Interested? Where do you need me? I like your determination. Keep it up. Let me be clear. We have very few supporters, even fewer soldiers. And an army that can't fight is no army at all. These walls are a prison. I want us to escape. And to do that, we need soldiers. People who know what they're doing, not a bunch of religious nut jobs who think prayer's the answer. Oh wow, you're disowning and you're besmirching your own creed. Or any kind of criminal. Beggars can't be choosers. And you think I'm a little bit of all those things, right? No. We're talking right now because you spend time with these sorts of people. And don't try to tell me otherwise. I want to use your connections to win these people over to our cause. Can I count on you? You can. What do you need me to do? You've got backbone. Good. I'll keep it short. I'm sure you're familiar with the outlaw's crater. They're savages. Toss their trash straight out onto the street. They treat their people the same way, but we can use the people they throw out like trash. Head to the crater, find out who's on their hit list, and bring them here. 
I ain't paying you. Uh, so I wonder if his um, quest is at odds with uh, the preachers here. Preacher also wants me to hire, uh, find people. I guess I'll see what his is about. It's not going to leave my quest anyway. About that pilgrimage. What do I have to do? Fear not. I don't expect you to stand on street corners and preach the word. The Creator's words are written down. They need only be placed in reach of lost souls. Take these flyers. Hang them somewhere visible. Somewhere the helpless are sure to set eyes upon them. When your work is done, return and we can open our arms to the new arrivals together. Two, two flyers, that's it. Where exactly Probably one for two different camps. Do your ears not hear? The lands where savages roam. To find savages. Do you mean the Berserker's Fort? That is one such place. But the crater, too, is home to many godless creatures whose ears are closed. They are savages indeed. And the Morcons, what about them? They are wretched worshippers of a false idol. So are you. That leads only to darkness. Nothing, not even the light of the Creator can save them from damnation. Do not concern yourselves with those who live in the ice either. Their hearts are frozen solid, and no words will thaw them. So, the fort and the Creator. Got it. You know, you're one to talk. Your people were literally worshipping a hunk of junk. Once you found that out, suddenly your whole creed just kind of transitions with no problem. You act like it was never a thing. Also, I don't know why so many things around here don't count as stealing. Nailed it. I'm in. It's just like nothing but junk in any of these. So yeah, I'm something going on here. Not anymore. Oh, it's her. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. That's all right. What do you want me to do? It's pretty straightforward, really. You just take things and put them... Um, wherever there's space, I guess. You don't have a system? Well, you know, I was going to figure one out. Really, I was. But, um... I'll take care of it. Thanks! Good luck, then. And glad to have you on the team. I forgot I sent her here. Probably gonna be very, uh... We'll talk later. Oh, don't have anything to say. Well, I don't really care about anything you've got. So yeah, uh, what I've been doing... I end up making a lot of the... Elix potions that get you... Learning points, because those are hilariously useful. Um, just because, like, the bottle, that's, that would be a massive bottleneck. It would be the only real bottleneck at this point for, uh, getting abilities. Because relying solely on leveling up doesn't really, um, doesn't really get you far. But I'm still undecided I'm, if I'm gonna join the elves or the berserkers. The berserkers seem to have a little bit more going on. But I also don't know if their spells are any good. I don't know. Yeah. The high, uh, strongest Elex potions give you a free learning point. Uh, this recipe right here. Plus one skill point. And I can still make 12 more. I didn't realize Moonshine. Thank God I haven't been using or selling that otherwise. But moonshine is the base um, ingredient, other than elix. All right, so that was interesting, but not really. Didn't really get us anywhere. Do you mind, child? Uh, but the other thing I noticed, there's a fellow just like sweeping at the beach. Somehow I overlooked him, so I want to go see what his deal is. I still haven't figured out what to do with this hermit. A lady just out in the wilderness here. Those gross things. Wow, they're everywhere. 
pretty sure I cleared out this uh, parking lot before. And now there's four big monstrosities. So yeah, there's this weirdo. I don't know what the hell he's doing out here, but let's have a chat. Wayne. Sorry if I'm interrupting. But what are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm cleaning the world of all this filth. Sand? Well, you've got your work cut out for you. Don't get smart now. You should be glad I'm taking care of it. No one else is doing it. What do you mean, filth? Everything's clean. I see. You have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. You ignoramuses are killing me. Then tell me what you mean. The aliens. They're the problem. Everything's gotten worse since they arrived. What do you mean, exactly? Negative energies diffusing throughout the world. So far, you're not wrong. It, but they're everywhere. And working the sand with the broom helps with that. This isn't just any old broom. Now the insanity this comes. This very special bristles. They're softer and longer than regular ones. Plus, I've cast a spell on it, too. So all the evil energy sticks to it. Can I help you at all? Indeed you can. I need new brooms. If I stopped working, it will have all been for nothing. My girlfriend Megan should have made some new ones. Uh, okay. So, where can I find Megan? We have a small hut west of here. It sits in the shadow of the lighthouse. Is that your girlfriend's the hermit then? Who don't take us seriously. But we get some peace and quiet out there. How many brooms do you need? I wonder if she's as insane as he is. Well, since you're asking, six of them would be great. That way I'd have reserves for the coming weeks. Yeah, I'll go get you those brooms. Thank you. You have no idea how much that helps me. Once you find Megan, please tell her that Wayne sent you. Call her by your name. Otherwise, she won't talk to you. I've noticed. Enough people have made fun of us. Makes you grow cautious. I shall indulge you. Don't believe in your cause, but I... Appreciate your intentions. At least he's not alone in his madness. You must be Megan. That's me. How can I help you? Wayne sent me. Ugh, he's still alive? That's great news. It's been days since I last heard from him. Is he okay? He, uh, definitely made an impression on me. Never seen someone try to clean a beach with a broom before. Uh -huh. Yeah, Wayne's a bit strange like that. It all started soon after the aliens appeared. He didn't seem right after that. Says he feels on edge, dirty even. And since then, he's tried all kinds of things to get rid of the feeling. And if it helps, then I say it's okay. I want to be there for him, give him whatever he needs. You know, there's such a thing as being too supportive. I have more than enough brooms in stock, after all. Do you know how many brooms he needs? Six. Here, take these. Can you pass a message on, though, please? Tell him to come home soon? I hope he can manage a little time off. It'd do him good. I'll tell him. I mean, you really... There's such a thing as being supportive. And, uh... What's the other word? Enabling. Just enabling his uh, clear mental illness. You don't want to be harsh on the fellow when he's struggling, but you also can't just let him indulge these fantasies that are keeping him of in an unhealthy mindset. So, did you manage to get everything I asked for? I've got the brooms. Excellent! And there's nothing more standing in the way of my work. Here's your reward. That's all I can give you. I'm I thought he was going to give me like bottles of milk or oh, something. That's all right. 
Thanks. By the way, your girlfriend would like it if you came back home soon. Megan's worrying too much. I'll head home once I'm done with my work. Listen, man, all work and no play. Honestly, it probably wouldn't make you any worse. So what, do I go? Whoa. Wait, do you see, like, the... Huh! See the sand splash when in the portrait? That's hilarious. I don't know if that's just the end of that or if I tell her what's going on. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anything that uses this am amistite. I've been mining it every time I see it. I hope we. All right, and that's the end of that. We have a lot of these like generally insane characters, and they all have such brief quests. It would be interesting to like actually see these to some conclusion. But then again, I can't finish the one guy's quest. A dude who seems to have multiple personalities. Except I think it actually had something related to a bunch of people. Uh, Naira. Why is she here? Why is she there? Isn't she supposed to be at the place? In the bastion? Or no, because I said I would help her with something first. But I completely missed that. No, you know what? I said I was going to do... Eh, I can't decide. So I don't really care about the Morcons. Like, I, I'm so uninterested in them as a faction. I don't feel like doing any of their quests. At the same time, I feel like I ought to. What is she doing all the way over here? Oh, she's just still so, here. I'd like to call in a favor with you. Meaning? I want you to accompany me on my next mission. What exactly would that entail? I think she was supposed to go to There's the Bastion. There's a group of clerics exploring Caracas. I want to know what makes them tick, and what they think about us elves. I want to know I don't think very highly, considering you kicked them out of here. How dangerous they could be to us elves. I see. Do you know where these clerics are right now? Yeah, but not for how long. We have to move fast if we're going to catch them. Okay, let's go take a closer look at your clerics. Good. All right, let's go. The Saint Ignadon. The camp in that area up ahead. We must have the plans on them. What Keep plans? Down, we can seize them. But that is not the prime objective in this matter. But why the clerics? You really think they could be dangerous to you, Albs? The Elix made us emotionless. Their brothers and sisters, clerics, it's different. They don't take any Elix. That must be a great advantage if you ask me. How? That's exactly how you dominated the world before. None of this rationalization is rationalizing. Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. So we're gonna fight here? Doesn't seem like a great idea. Also, you said the planes are not the primary objective, but you didn't say what the primary objective was. You call them your brothers and sisters? We Albs originated from the clerics. I know not many of us want to remember that, but it's the truth. What exactly am I doing? Do we have to kill them? Because I don't want to. Do we just talk to them? Hopefully we just talk to them. Alert the gate. Hey, there's nothing here for you. Now fuck off. You don't sound like a legate. Hey. So, what? What's going on? I'm so confused. What's the actual mission here? What? Is the objective to kill them? I don't understand. Doesn't seem right. Oink. Back problems. Silver. I better get out of here. Nothing happened.
Ow. You got a jetpack too, right? Hope so. There you are. Here are the cleric's strategic plans. Thanks. That's that was really a dude. Going to help. What exactly are you hoping to achieve? Clerics are philanthropists and have a great deal of empathy. That makes them receptive to many things that we albs are incapable of. It has a lot to do with intuition. It makes many actions seem very irrational to us albs. But from my current perspective, they aren't. We can still learn from our brothers and sisters. I see. What will you do next? After checking out the cleric's plans, we need to take a closer look at the Morcons. Ask me again later when I'm ready. Are we gonna go to the Bastion, or, uh... Are we gonna end up back at the... Depot, for some reason. Also, we're in Morcon territory right now. She's gonna walk back. Whatever. Well, that being the case, let's do what I said. We left a bunch of quests open here, and there's probably a lot more NPCs I just didn't talk to. And I think one of them was to have this amulet and talk to these guys here. Dimitri. I just wanted to thank you again. Thank me? For what? For helping me with Khan. I'm glad I could help. Between us? I think you being here could be the spark that ignites the flame of change. Change in hey, what direction, exactly? That's what I'm hoping. You seen this before? An amulet? Sure. They're things you hang around your neck. No shit. It's kinda nice. Would you sell it to me? Sorry, I'd rather keep it. What for? I'm trying to find out who it might belong to. Can't help you there, but if you can't find the owner, I'll take it off your hands. You're being suspicious. You seem to really want it for somebody it doesn't belong to. Hey, wait. That's the amulet I've Never found mind. in the cellar. How'd you get your hands on it? You better have a good explanation. Zarina gave it to me. What do you know about it? Zarina entrusted you with that? You're not even a Morcon. That's why she chose me. Ugh, not my place to question Zarina, so I'll tell you what I know. Was having a drink with Ghosta in the cellar. I went to my table, stood on something hard. Found this amulet stuffed in a crack in the ground. Of course, when I recognized what it was, I went straight to Zarina and gave it to her. Is that everything? What do you mean? That's it. Just drop it. An outsider shouldn't get involved in our matters. Leave me alone. Got work to do. Well, A, how, you said you recognized immediately what it was, but what the hell is it? Also, what is that red tipped thing? Just st stick it into your arm. I don't have a clue what that's supposed to be. Nope, no idea. What's this here? Gotcha. This lady wants some motors. Let's give her some motors. I need to work. If you want. Oh my god. You know, it's interesting that they actually have like characters who are too busy at certain times of day to talk to you, but sometimes it gets annoying. I'm not sure that's the level of immersion that I need. Who is Dixon? That one's probably been sitting in there for a while. Which means I'm probably too late to get it done. Because it said tomorrow. Oh, hang on, it's upstairs. I don't remember who Dixon is. Whistling Dixon. 
about your package. Ah, you're just in time, my man. Thank God. Here you go. Flowers? Are you shitting me? What? What the hell's wrong with flowers? Do you have any idea what I went through to make up that bunch? Called in all sorts of favors, even gave away some damn cigarettes. Caracas ain't a don after all. It was a minor miracle I even managed to pull together a bouquet. Can you guess who the lucky recipient is? Some guy? Not that it's any of your business, but no. The flowers are for a special lady. My wife, in fact. It's shared, but I can't go anywhere near the crater. Baxter's guys would be on me in a flash. So, I need a willing delivery man. Well, that's adorable. Sure, I'll do it. A capable guy like you will find this easier than rolling a cigarette. What's your wife's name? Sophie. You'll find her to the north of the Crater City. Thanks, man. This means a lot to me. I won't forget it. Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, I already got the quest marker on, so whatever. What? She's... Oh, she's in the graveyard, ain't she? I probably would never have extrapolated that if I didn't have the quest marker on already. <clears throat> Then again, I didn't ask for more information. I wonder if that means Sophie is the only name out here that's not one of the developers. Then again, a lot of these don't really jump out at me as parts of the team. A lot of them look like nicknames. Ah! Sophie and Matilda. This must be where Dixon's family's buried. You only mentioned Sophie. I guess he didn't care about Matilda. I guess that's what Dixon wanted uh -oh. from me. Well, these idiots doing here. Also, I like how they're standing over there, even though they're clearly waiting for me. And I can just go that way and never encounter them. But I'll indulge you. I'm sure you all want to die. Hey, asshole. Over here. You know, Steve Blum, I got through like 30 hours of this game without hearing your voice, and now you're all over the place. You sure took your fucking time. I kept telling my associates here, sooner or later, he'd come back and blubber over his wife's grave. Dale, I don't think this guy is Dixon. He doesn't look like him at all. Shut the fuck up. Of course it's Dixon. Why else would he have put those flowers there? I think she's right. I think it's a different guy. Shut it, okay? I'm the boss, and I know who the fuck I'm looking at. The hat like that? I don't I think you know anything. I'm the one giving the orders around here, damn it. Hey, you! You Dixon? Yes or no? Sorry. I'm not the guy you're looking for. Oh, really? Then what is your name? Name's Jax. You satisfied? Shit. That name's trouble. And lots of it. We better get out of here. No fucking way. We're settling this here and now. You could do it without me. I'm fucking getting out while I still can. Don't move an inch. He's just bullshitting us. It's taking too long. I'll just deliver your head on a silver platter. Then I'll find out if you're the right guy or not. I'll make this quick. Promise. Won't hurt a bit. No, but this will. Alright, I'm a terrible shot. Pardon me. At least one of them wizened up. Shows what diplomacy can get you. But it doesn't get you everywhere. I'm getting a lot of these captain axes. I should be saving these so I can make the, the best of the best out of this one. In fact, I know I sold one recently, and I regret that now. <clears throat> Although, I think I sold it to the smith back at the, ba the Bastion. Let's chat him up. Try and get it back.
There's one. Let's buy one. Damn, that's expensive. Holy shit, I'm actually running out of money. Get rid of that. Don't need any of these. Sphere blades and everything. Take way too long to get enough of those to make a good one. So I've been hanging on to stuff like all these things that save raw material, and so far I've never found anything that uses it. So I almost feel like these are mislabeled. Good. Now I need Haridium. Oh, so I have to take the socket out of that one to actually use it. Where do I get Haridium? You sell it? Sell a bit. I need a lot more. What do I need in total? I need 29 more. Let's see who else has some. Hey, hold on a minute, will you? I just was just coming All to see it. The weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's a real beauty, if I do say so myself. I call it the butter knife, because it will cut through your enemies like a hot knife through butter. I forgot all about this quest, to be honest. Seriously. You don't like the name? You can change it for all I care. I don't care what it's called. Well, what you waiting for? Try it out. Let me know what it's like in combat when the chance comes. I better get going now. This project's got me behind on my schedule. We'll see each other soon. Let's take a look. Hopefully it was worth it. It wasn't. What if I just sell it back to him? I am curious what happens if I just sell it back to him. If he says anything. I'll be disappointed if he doesn't. Ah! Figures. You got Horidium. Got a little bit. I guess we're all in the neighborhood. We can put the stupid flyers up. It'll be hilarious if we're, uh, we just got rid of all the outlaw propaganda. And now... What do you got? Now we're putting up cleric propaganda. All right. Everyone should be able to get a good look at it here. Well, that's all settled. Somebody's gonna call me out, ain't they? No? So be it. Well. Going here for stuff anyway. I get so sidetracked in games like this. Better not forget to go back and let the dude know that he almost got us killed. Just to spare himself getting killed. Oh, she's gonna give me shit, ain't she? Hey you, got a light? I'm trying to light up, but my matches have gone AWOL. Do I have a light? I don't think I do. Sure. Ah, oh, damn it. Forget it. Looks like my last cigarette's gone anyway. It's probably for the best. Just gives me a scratchy throat. Yeah, so it's, uh, really it's called, uh... What's it called? I forgot. Emphysema. Why do you ask? Maybe because I want to talk to you a little bit? You seem like a nice guy. I may be wrong, but you look like you've gotten around. How about something different? You haven't heard anything about Baxter's cave, have you? Cave? What's that? Keep it down. The walls here have ears. Listen up. I didn't talk to you for no reason. I had to make sure you weren't one of the jumped up idiots who usually hang around here. So, did I pass your test? I mean, you can form a sentence, and you look okay, so 
You're a long way ahead. So what is it exactly? It's a place behind enemy lines. I don't stand a chance on my own. But with you and a few others, we could do it. And if we do, it will make us all very rich. Yeah, really? It must be a huge amount. I'm gonna get double crossed here. I tell you don't believe me, but I guarantee that if we can pull it off, neither you nor I will have to take the fall for anyone. What's the catch? You're a sharp one. Nothing's that easy, right? Capable people are one thing, relying on them is another. I've got a lot to lose if I tell you what I know. So I'm going to need a little insurance before we start. With the risk I'm taking, I think a thousand shards is reasonable. That is outrageous. Are you in or not, there are plenty of others who want in. But you seem reliable. I won't force you. After all, the amount I'm asking isn't exactly peanuts. Just a thousand? Easy. Don't tell me you have the Alexit on you. I do. So? Good. We'll go over the rest in my office. Full pockets have a way of attracting vermin. And we could do without an audience. This way. Stand by. This board is a perfect place for a notice. And that's that. I'm done here now. I hope all this running around was worth it. We'll see what Johannes decides to fork over as payment. This is your office? So it's even more in the open than we were. Oh, you're still walking. You're not from around here, are you? Is that obvious? I am. Listen, we need to talk. What's your problem now? We do? It's about, uh... Well, uh, you see... Is this going somewhere? I've got shit to do. Give me a sec. I'm building up to it. Uh, okay. So there's a rumor going around that you took out Pfeiffer. And it's no secret I owe him my paycheck. So before you rip me a new asshole, I want to give you this. It's all I got. Take it as a little thank you. For what? That business between us on the edge of the crater... I was being a fucking dumbass. I was just starting shit. No hard feelings. You cool? I don't even remember what our deal was, honestly. Not gonna lie. I am. This dump is the worst. But your shards are my way out. Well, we're almost there. I'll introduce you to the rest of the group. I feel like you're gonna so, cut my try are. to cut my throat here now. You like it? You call this an office? Hmm, you don't. Well, I have even more bad news for you then. Come out, boys. He has the money on him. Who is surprised? No business being here. This is a slightly overdone trope, not gonna lie. Like every single one of these, other than the guy with his, uh, his little banking scheme, has always just used these as an excuse to get us somewhere and have the lads jump us. I didn't think it was gonna go anywhere that interesting, but it's kind of disappointing that this is as far as it got. Alright, well, that's done. What else? We need to find recruits for this dude. Oh yeah, you're just hanging out here now. And you, I can't do anything with. Well, without any direction, I don't really feel like doing the snooping or the searching for myself. So who does he want? People generally in this area, apparently. Oh. Hmm. Wonder how that's gonna turn out. 
Where is this directing me exactly? Can't be to you. About the bounties. What can you tell me about Dixon? Old Dixon is a bird who's happier in a cage. In fact, he exchanged freedom with us for the yoke of the Morcons. Well, so they say, anyway. That's it? That's all he did wrong? We had a contract, he and I. And for him to cancel it unilaterally was... an act of bad faith. Consider the bounty on his head as an attempted redress. Believe me, he doesn't deserve your sympathy. He's a former bounty hunter himself. He knows the world he walks in. Well, gonna disappoint you. So I'm not taking that back. Hang on, did I map the wrong quest or what? Oh. Heading to a hideout west of the crater. Okay, so I already have people, like, on the docket. Hideout west of the crater. I don't remember who Crane is. Crane might have been the guy I gave all the coffee beans to. He was just trying to get out of Dodge. Does the child have anything more going on? You smell, but I still like you. Thanks. This is as far as you got, buddy. Did I loot all this? Sure did. Not right now, okay? Let's talk later. What? But I got a mission. Not but what? Now I can't do this mission. Well, that's annoying. Well, he says later. Maybe, like, needs it to be nighttime. What's your deal? This ain't fair. Or maybe we have to wait for a bounty to show up for him or something. I don't know. We'll see if anything comes of it. So it annoys me that since the grotto's underneath the city, all the... I keep going for the... teleporter in the city. About your package. Oh god. Environment. Why didn't you tell me your wife was dead? I... I wasn't sure you'd take the job if I did. Why was this so important to you? My wife and daughter meant everything to me. Made my life worth living. She always wanted flowers on her birthday. Never understood it myself. As soon as you pick them, they're dying. Guess that's pretty appropriate now. Thanks for doing this, man. Can't tell you how much it means to me. Oh yeah, I ran into a couple of bounty hunters. They thought I was you. Probably should have warned you, but... I figured if I sent you, nothing would go wrong. We ain't exactly twins, right? Tell that to the guy I put down. Listen, pal. I know I asked a lot of you. Honestly didn't think you'd end up in the line of fire. But when you have a good hand, you damn well play it. No hard feelings. Thanks. For that ain't the worst scrap I've been in. Here, take this. My personal stash. How did your family die? They were, uh, burned. Shit, I'm sorry. How'd it happen? Been wondering that for a long time. I was out collecting debts for Nero, the usual. And when I came back, well, the hut was ashes. I just stood there for hours, watching the glowing embers wink out. Did you find out what started the fire? Nah. Don't matter much. Have you seen them huts in the crater? One spark or short circuit is 
All they need to go up. They're all made out of corrugated steel. How does that burn? Yes, now, anyway. I bumped a lot of chems into my body. Drank like a fish. But I got through it. All I got left now is my smoking. Who knows? Maybe the Morcons will help me kick that, too. I mean, why Why is that so important to you? You got nothing left to... Like, I don't want to be harsh. You got nothing left to live for. Might as well enjoy your vices. But I guess you're just trying to prove, prove something to yourself. What would you think about joining the clerics? <coughs> Am I hearing you right? You want me? To join the clerics? Yeah. Pack your stuff. Fuck that. Guys like me are nothing but a target for the clerics. Have you forgotten my record? It's a mile long. I am a bounty hunter, not a saint. Well, neither are they. Don't worry about it. They don't expect you to have a clean slate. Even if that's true, it's not gonna happen. If I bolt now, I'll have a pack of poachers on my ass before you can say Caracas. And I can't exactly come knocking at the cleric's door with those assholes on my tail. I'll escort you. That won't cut it. As long as I'm listed as one of Ghost's fighters, I'm stuck here. So what's the problem? You won't fight. If I bail on him, I'll definitely have more than a few of his bloodhounds on my ass. You have to explain it to me. Morcons listed as fighters in Ghost's ranks have to make a pact. And there's only one way to dissolve that pact. Fighting. If you refuse to fight after making the pact, it's open season on your ass. Um... Okay, so what do we do about that? We gotta, like, fight on your behalf? What's his deal? Is he, like, saying that he doesn't fight anymore? I kind of forgot what his dialogue before. You need to... What can you tell me about this? Hmm. Interesting. How does a stranger get an amulet like this? Zarina sent me. Probably shouldn't have said that. Ah, so you're doing a bit of digging around, are you? Well, I know a little about it. Come closer. Marat found it here. It, uh, it bears the face of Crichton. Crichton? Michael Crichton? Who's Crichton? Shh. Keep your voice down. You don't know? Crichton's the forbidden god. He once existed peacefully. Alongside Ravak. But now, believing in him, even talking about him, can get you in a whole heap of shit. But, it looks like there are still a few followers who haven't been murdered yet. Did you see who lost it? No, it was a busy night. Could barely keep tabs on the bar, let alone lost property. What's so bad about it? Well, let's just say whoever lost it won't be pleased. The amulet suggests there's a group of people who don't believe in the value of balance. I'd guess Zarina doesn't like that one bit. I don't have any other questions. That's good, because probably the only thing I haven't told you is the color of my underwear. I assume brown and yellow. I need information. Ah, then you've come to the right place. The only small problem is that talking gives me such a dry mouth. Well, you're behind a the sink there. You can get yourself I a drink of water. I help myself to a drink, but I wouldn't be able to stay in business if I did. Know what I mean? You want payment. To the point, huh? Then, yes, some small remuneration is required. Gotta make a living, after all, and times are hard. Cheer up, though. First one's for free. Well, no, this is, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about. I thought I was supposed to talk to you about, uh, the dude, Dixon. 
Whistling Dixon. And that asshole over there just straight up blasted a dude in the face. I don't know if I want to talk to him again. Actually, where does the mechanic end up? I've already forgotten her name. You ever seen something like this? How? How did you get your hands on this? Listen, you might want to avoid flashing it around. I'm looking for the amulet's owner. Huh. Interesting. I'm afraid I can't help you there. Well, you're a disappointment. What do you teach? Fighting stuff? Hmm, I think so. I can teach you skills for the outdoors anyway. Just let me know when you want to get started. You're a hunter. Well, you don't got much that you can teach me. So... Nothing is safe these days. Yeah, because I... I'm still supposed to talk to this man. Do I have to get something else done first? It says that I should talk to him. What's the word? And we have to go through some other dialogues first. Uh -huh. Want to know what the local rumor mill's churning out, huh? Well... You've come to the right place. The word is, not all the poachers are bringing their loot back here. And since so few resistors drag their holy asses beyond the gate, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Who <laughs> wouldn't mind a little something squirreled away for a rainy day? Guess you're wondering what that means to you, right? Well... One of my customers had one too many the other day and was babbling some real gems. Here, I made notes. Might just be a load of nothing, but only one way to find out. And this I is the no, this south, is what you're giving away for free. Foot from behind the bar, I reckon this place will burn down. That's the one I, I would have sold. About the lair in the mutant infested ruins. I already raided it. Ah, that sounds like the one. Bad luck. If you want to hear other rumors, you know where to find me. Of course, if you dug a little deeper into your pockets, I could probably remember some interesting little tidbits. Like what? Stuff about Vlad and the voice of Khan, for example. Might be worth your while laying down some shards. Seems like a good way to get yourself killed is to gossip for her. Gossip for money. Remember? Yes, yes. See, none of this is about Dixon. That's who I want to talk to you about. What do you know about Vlad? Ah, Vlad. Let's just say not all rats lurk in alleys and under floorboards. Sometimes they're hiding in plain sight. Crouching, waiting for a fool. Vlad might seem all friendly and respectful, but don't fall for it. He's one of Khan's dogs. Just don't trust him. Don't let him talk you into something. Well, you already did. Too late. I've been hunting with him already. Oh, well. Just hope for your sake you didn't say anything stupid. Well, I told him he could eat shit for killing that dude, but whatever. He didn't seem to care. What should I know about the voice? And then I just told him, I showed him the amulet I have. Well, that guy's a mystery. Nobody knows his name or his past. Oh, the voice of Khan. Seem to have an opinion on anything. He's up to something, though. Can you be more specific? Well, he's been seen holding something in his hand. But when he knows he's been seen, he stuffs it in his pocket. Don't know about you, but that seems pretty dodgy to me. And they're gonna try and get me to pickpocket again. Of shady stuff here, I can tell you. Might be worth doing, though, because I actually don't know... I don't remember how pickpocketing worked in the last game. If it worked in dialogue, like... Uh... Classic Pranobites games, or if it was active again. I honestly don't remember. And if it's active, then it's hard to do, because this is one of those games where... 
you know, you can reduce your ability to be seen. Like, sneaking only reduces your sound. If people spot you, you're getting called out. Wait. Uh -oh. I heard you had a certain amulet. How do you know? Does it matter? Yes, it does. You got the amulet from Zarina, and now you're trying to find out who it belongs to. Come here. It's better we talk in private. Every time someone says that, they get people to jump me. Somehow I don't just don't expect you're going to be any different. This ain't going to be very private. It's going to echo a lot. Let's get to the point, okay? The amulet doesn't belong to you. I want it, and I want you to tell Zarina that someone stole it. So, name your price. I have a couple of questions first. Can I trust you? You'd better, if you want your amulet back. Don't make me regret talking when I could have just killed you and taken it. I suppose we both need to establish some trust. You're no Morcon. I'll answer your questions. But... If I find you trying to trick us, I'll have to kill you. What's the story behind the amulet? The Crichton amulet goes back centuries. The story goes that there were once two gods, Ravok and Crichton. When we created the Broadway, they both like their double vowels. The comet, they fought for dominion over our people. Obviously, Ravok won in the end. He banished Crichton from the kingdom of the Morkons and set out the commandments, which the Morkons still follow to this day. The commandments of balance. Who are these others you're part of? We're followers of Crichton. We work in secret in the very depths of the underground. If the resistors found us, they'd torture and kill us. And the poachers? They're the same as the resistors. Well, at least most of them are. They hunt us because we threaten their way of life. When the grotto opened up, old, forgotten ideals came flooding in. When we're a threat to them, they're afraid we'll be able to bring them down one day. What a day that would be. You really believe in this Crichton god? Of course. But he's so much more than just a god. He is inspiration itself. The embodiment of freedom, peace, and self-determination. Do you understand? We Morcons haven't always been so brutal. The old stories have been forbidden by Ravak's followers. But we remember them. We were once like everyone else outside the grotto. No prisoners, no torturing. So they're like the Alps to your did any pain upon ourselves. Clerics. Except and there were no blood rituals. Crazier. We still remember those times. Even if the others don't. Maybe now you see what's at stake here. Right here. Right now, the future of the Morcons is in your hands. Serena and her resistors can't be allowed to find out that Crichton's followers are growing in strength. Well, she already knows about it. And if I tell her that it was stolen from me, then she's gonna know that somebody's making a huge effort to get it, you know, get it back. About the amulet. What are you going to do with it? I trusted you. Now's the time for you to trust me. Give me the amulet, and I'll let you in on our plans. How would you tell people to stop being so careless with it at the bar and dropping it into the floorboards? I'm not accepting either of them, just for the record. But, you know, if I'm going to have somebody win in the end, I'd rather be the assholes who don't just murder and torture people. Here, it's yours. Thank you. I have to admit... I wasn't sure you weren't going to go to Zarina behind our backs. Now you're one of us, whether you like it or not. But don't worry. We won't let you down. We'll fight for a better future together. What do you need from me? I don't like the name of that I quest. I use some help from an outsider like you. 
Somehow we have to make sure that Serena stops looking for us. The story of the amulet must come to its rightful end. But I know from my own experience that Serena won't be satisfied until someone's been punished. So you need a patsy? Yes, it's the only way. Someone has to pay. If we can, we'll find a poacher to blame. Not a resistor? No. Serena would see right through that. Why do I feel like we're gonna go with Vlad or something? So, what's the plan? Find someone to plant the amulet on. Someone who Serena thinks is stupid enough to keep hold of it, but not be a follower of Crichton. There's a trader in the living quarters who deals in stolen goods. We plant it on him and let Serena know he has it. She'll find it with him along with other illegal goods in his possession. That should be enough to convince her that there's no conspiracy against Ravok. That's more clever than what I was thinking. So, I'm doing the planting? No, I'll do it. Thank God. You, you stand out too much. I live here and I'm a minion technician. Everyone knows me and ignores me. I blend in with the crowd. But I need you to make sure Zarina knows where to look. Go see her and tell her this. Someone stole the amulet while you were making your way through the living quarters. You overheard a conversation in the cellar between two men who were talking about a trader who deals in stolen goods. You don't know what these men looked like. It was dark. Got it? So, I'll go to Zarina and tell her that someone stole the amulet. Then I'll say, when I was looking for the thief, I overheard a conversation in the cellar about a trader who deals in stolen goods. So, yeah, I got it. I'm guessing there's a chance for me to fuck that Serena up, has so better remember that. It won't take her long to find the traitor. You need to go straight to her and do what we talked about. Meanwhile, I'll hide the amulet. We'll talk after you come back. Well, do you want these motors first? Nope. Alright, let's do it. Although, shouldn't I give you the chance to actually plant it first? Remind me where she even is. I think she's down past Dixon somewhere. <laughs> 